Hello, uh, we will demonstrate uh, how to prepare a servo uh, in order to put inside the super modified controller. Okay, uh, first of all we want uh, to unscrew it. Okay, <clears throat> now here as you can see are the electronics, the original electronics of the servo. We will need to unsolder uh, the poles of the motor, this thing here and this thing here, using a soldering iron. And uh, we will do this later. The first thing we, will, uh, we are going to do is that uh, we are going to unscrew the top uh, screw of the servo and uh, gain access to the gearbox. And there we want to remove the mechanical stop so that the, so that the servo can rotate freely. Okay, now carefully I'm going to open the gearbox. Okay, this is the gearbox of the servo. Uh, what I'm going to do is take this large gear out. The rest of the thing I, I will leave it as it is. Okay, the thing I want to remove is uh, this thing right here, the mechanical stop. Okay. <clears throat> now, by using uh, a cutter, I'm going to slowly chip it off, uh, because if I do it uh, all uh, at one step, uh, then there is uh, the danger of breaking the, the gear itself, and then uh, the whole uh, servo will be useless. Uh, so, little by little, I take this out. Okay, if I want to refine this cut, I don't really need to do it, but let's say that I do it, I just scrape some of it here, and it is ready. There isn't anything else I have to do. Okay, now I'm going to put it back, slowly and carefully, so that I don't mess with the other gears. Everything must be on its axis. Okay. So I'm putting everything back in place. So now we have uh, the servo all uh, modified as far as the gearbox is concerned and ready to go. Uh, we screw this in place. Okay, and now we'll go to desolder the, the two lids of the motor. Okay, uh, now we'll demonstrate how to desolder the two motor lids from the servo in order to prepare it uh, for the super modified controller. Okay, uh, actually first I'm going to put some uh, solder on it so it becomes more and uh, it is easier for me to heat it up. Uh, okay. So, now I'm going to use this, the suction. I hit this very well. And... As you can see here, it's clear. I'm going to move on to the next one. The same. Okay, it's done with the first. Okay, oops. Now it's very easy. We just take this out and it comes out. Uh, here you can see there is a, a screw that holds the potentiometer, which is the sensor for the original servo. Okay, I'm going to unscrew this. Just pull the cables and the potentiometer comes out. Now, as you can see, the servo has uh, no screws and it also it doesn't have a mechanical stop. You can see this by rotating all the way around that uh, it can rotate freely, freely for as many turns as I want. Okay, next we will show how to put the super modified controller inside. 
Okay, uh, now we will show how to insert the super modified controller inside the, the servo. Uh, as you can see, when I rotate the servo, maybe you can see it, it's uh, right here, the place of the potentiometer is there. So you can see also that with my screwdriver I can rotate the servo there. Okay, so I look at it and see how it is. Sorry. Okay. And uh, I take the super modified in my hands and I put it approximately at the same position. Okay. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is to place it inside. It all goes in in a single uh, move. So I start and I push inside. Maybe I will need to play with this a bit, but as you can see, it is quite easy. Tolerances uh, are very tight, so you might actually need a bit of force here in order to put it inside. Now, as I can see, everything is okay. Okay, the next thing I want to do is uh, solder the cables here. Okay. So, uh, not all motors uh, rotate in the same way, so sometimes. Uh, the motor plus and the motor minus cables might uh, need to be uh, soldered on uh, the other side of the poles and uh, this is the case here with high-tech servos the motor minus, the black wire here that starts from the motor minus here needs to go to the pole of the motor with the red dot and uh, the red wire needs to go to the other pole of the motor and uh, if I put them the other way around, then I will have no control. Uh, and uh, the, the, the super modified will not operate correctly. Of course, it will recognize that it cannot control the motor and stop, actually. Uh, but this is not what I want. What I want is for everything to operate correctly. So now I've separated the, the negative pole from the chassis of the motor and uh, I'm going to just strip the wire here and here. The last thing I want to do is, let's say, the chassis, solder it right here. 